without controlled senses, there's no question of spontaneous love. If someone senses dira, the slogan says, Vikriditam Braja Buddhu Vyaritam Javishnu Shradhan Vatonu Shranaya Dattavarna Yedya Bhakti Param Bhagavati Pratilabdi Kamam Hrid Roga Mashu Api Achinoti Api Achinoti something, Dira. So Hrid Roga means heart disease, right? expressed in uncontrolled senses. So without the senses being relatively controlled, that one is going to express raga bhakti. That means spontaneous love here, raga marg. Now we're back to Saraswati Thakur's cautions, saying if this is not there at the basis, then they may be telling that it's spontaneous love, but it is mundane because the senses are not controlled. So they're taking divine things and making them, in his words, vulture food, saying the senses are like vultures. So without, if the senses are under the control of lust, right, then there's no question of expressing spontaneous love, which means here, raga bhakti, raga marg. So there's vidi marg. They have to gradually uh, come under control. And then from that position, dhira, undisturbed, no sense disturbance. Then when they hear the divine pastimes of Radharani, Krishna, and Braja Gopis, that will awaken spontaneous love, loving sentiments within them. Otherwise, we'll project that our experience of mundane love will project that as being, uh, will impose that idea on spontaneous love of raga bhaktas. And that's an offense against divinity to think these pastimes are mundane, like the mundane affairs between men and women.